Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Varender. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, well, of course not with the alternator if uh, if you're watching this video. So uh, today I'm gonna show you in this simple and a short video to how to fix your alternator. And uh, this video should be good uh, if you're testing your alternator on your car, on your truck, or on your semi truck, like I am in a semi truck right now. And uh, yeah, if uh, if you have alternator and a battery running on uh, on any equipment, uh, you can diagnose using this video. So let's not waste uh, time and uh, let's get started. So right now I have with me a multimeter and uh, this we're gonna use to uh, test the voltage on the alternator. This is pretty cheap, you can buy it from Amazon, um, uh, yeah, from 20 to 25 bucks and this will do the job. So we're gonna test the voltage at the alternator uh, and we're gonna do it in two stages. First. We're gonna test the voltage with the ignition on and engine not running and second we're gonna test the voltage when the engine is running so how this works is if the alternator is working uh, suppose when you when you test the uh, voltage at the alternator when the engine is not running the voltage should be between 12 to 12.5 volts because the voltage is directly coming from the battery but when as soon as you 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 know uh, use start your engine and engine is uh, running uh, and then after you check the voltage the voltage should jump up it should go uh, from 13.5 to 14 to 14.2 volts so if it's not jumping if it's not showing you 14 volts or 14.2 volts after you started the engine or it remained the same uh, as uh, as it were before uh, when the power is coming from the battery says 12 volts this means there's something wrong with your alternator. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna go out of my truck and I'm gonna sh uh, show it right Also, here. I wanna show you one gauge. My truck has one, one gauge here. And uh, that's pretty interesting that, that helped with this diagnostic. Uh, this is where I got to know that my something is wrong with my alternator. But I'm showing you with the multimeter because uh, most of the cars and uh, maybe some trucks don't have this gauge. This is called amps amps gauge. So right now it's on uh, it's above the zero. This means the system is charging. Uh, it means my alternator is running, my engine is running, and the system is charging the battery. If it's go, uh, if it's at zero, it means the system is consuming the power uh, equal to the system making the power. But if it goes uh, you know say is minus 75 less than zero it means the system is m consuming more power than it's making so when my alternator was bad this this needle right here was at minus 75 and uh, my AC stopped working the fridge in this truck stopped working first I thought it may be a fuse or something and then I saw this gauge and I saw you know the truck is not making any power so this made me think you know there, there could be something wrong with the alternator so I just uh, then uh, right away jumped to the alternator and I found that the alternator was not making the enough power and uh, uh, I'm gonna show you guys uh, in a minute. I'm gonna go out and show you uh, how to do it now. So I'm turning the ignition on Go outside now So this is Packard MX-13 motor and uh, That right here is our alternator and if you can see this is the negative terminal of the ground and that right there this one is the positive terminal so i'm gonna uh, put the red to the red black lead to the black red is positive black is negative i'm gonna put my phone over here hope you guys can see this So right here I have 12.68 volts which is very good. If you change the polarity of these leads and uh, connect positive to the negative and negative to the positive, it will show you negative reading but it should be fine, we just need a reading. So I'm making this video as a voiceover because it was very noisy over there. So uh, now I'm starting the engine right here, so now I'll go outside. 
and I'll basically do the same thing again uh, now when the engine is running I'll take the another reading and uh, then I'll compare the two readings doing this job with one hand and holding the camera was difficult job but I guess I have done a pretty decent job here so right here it's 14.17 uh, volts and it's above 12.6 uh, volt that I was getting uh, without the engine running so the reading is jumped this means the alternator is charging the battery and uh, that's it it's pretty good so that's it for today uh, i hope this video is helpful i'm also gonna post another video while i was replacing that alternator uh, if you guys wanna watch that video go to my channel and uh, please subscribe to my channel uh, see you guys later then